In this quiet island in the southwest of Finland lies a bunker that is not meant to be opened for the next 100,000 years. And no, it's not because of any ancient curse, nor is this place home to any top secret government facility. It is because this bunker will contain something extremely deadly, radioactive nuclear waste. Believe it or not, deep in the ground, Finland is building the world's first disposal site for high-level nuclear waste, which will be sealed away from the world for many millennia. So is this the need of the hour or a completely batshit crazy idea? We give you the mind-blowing details on Stranger Than Fiction. An increasing number of countries have been turning to nuclear energy over recent decades, and this is a change that we should welcome. Nuclear energy is a clean energy source as it produces little to no greenhouse gases. Currently, nuclear energy provides 10% of the world's electricity, and that is expected to grow to 25% by 2050. However, there is one big problem with the production of nuclear energy. We have absolutely no freaking clue what to do with the waste. Nuclear reactors produce radioactive waste, which can be extremely harmful to humans and the environment. There are three different levels of nuclear waste, which are classified based on their radioactivity. Low, which includes lightly contaminated items such as work tools and clothes. Intermediary, which requires additional shielding during handling, transport and storage. And high, such as used nuclear fuel, which has to be completely shielded from any human and environmental contact. If humans are exposed to very high levels of radiation, it could result in internal bleeding and death in a matter of just days. High-level nuclear waste would have to decay for many tens of thousands of years before it is safe for humans to handle. So, it is thus pivotal that we figure out a way to safely dispose the nuclear waste and ensure that it never comes into contact with the outside world. Various ideas have been proposed on how to do this, including burying it in the ocean floor. However, doing so will mean that it could not easily be checked or repaired in extreme depths, while the waste could also not be carefully monitored and secured from theft. Even more spectacularly, some have suggested the idea of loading radioactive waste onto rockets and firing them into space. However, this would be extremely expensive with some estimates suggesting that it would take $44 billion per year to launch all of the world's spent fuel into space. Even more importantly, rockets are far from perfect, with roughly 10% of all rocket launches ending in failure. In case of an explosion, the particles would travel in the wind, falling either in the ocean or on land, thus contaminating large areas. Many of you are probably wondering, can't we just secure the waste in a safe container and put it in some place where barely anyone goes. Germany tried just that and found out the hard way that it is a very bad idea. In 1967, the Germans experimented with what is called geological disposal. They decided to move thousands of tons of radioactive waste into what was formerly a salt mine in Lower Saxony before sealing the mine. However, within a few decades, the mine shafts collapsed and the barrels holding the radioactive waste decayed, making the whole place an ecological disaster zone. There are now fears that the radioactive waste from the mine could come in contact with the groundwater and poison it. So if geological disposal is not an option, where else can we dispose nuclear waste? Finland has come up with an idea. In Olkiluoto Island in the southwest of the country, 240 kilometers from Helsinki, a geological tomb is being built nearly half a kilometer under the surface as a permanent repository site for nuclear waste. The site is named Onkalo, which translates to cave in Finnish and consists of crisscrossing tunnels with reinforced walls, running to a length of over 50 kilometers. The idea is to place the irradiated materials into boron steel canisters and then enclose those canisters with corrosion-resistant copper capsules, which are each buried in individual holes and backfilled with bentonite clay. Once 3,250 of these canisters are buried and the tunnel reaches a capacity of 6,500 tons, it will be sealed off forever. This facility has been designed to last a whopping 100,000 years to ensure that humans do not come in contact with the waste. 100,000 years is an almost unimaginable time frame for humans. 
To put that in context, that is more than 20 times longer than the pyramids of Giza have stood. In fact, 100,000 years ago, humans had not even migrated out of Africa. When we are talking about such an insane time frame, it brings with it a lot of complications. One of the biggest is the fact that in 100,000 years, humans will almost certainly forget that they have buried a dangerous substance in Olkiluoto Island. We have a duty to make sure we warn future generations about this geological tomb. But that is not as easy as you may think. For example, this symbol is the one used as a warning for radioactive waste. But surveys show that only 6% of people understand what it means. And that is 6% now. It could well be 0% in a few thousand years. Putting up a written message is also not straightforward, as none of the languages in use today will be around in 100,000 years, with languages around the world constantly evolving. One idea that has been proposed is the formation of a sort of nuclear priesthood, a select group of people who would retain knowledge on where nuclear waste is buried and pass it on through generations. However, even this plan has some shortcomings. For example, if an apocalyptic event occurs over the next 100,000 years and wipes out a huge portion of mankind, the knowledge might die with them. The same could happen if a vast proportion of humanity decides to relocate from Earth to another celestial body. So how can we ensure that humans never dig deep in Okoloto Island ever again? Paradoxically, experts think that the best way to ensure that would be to not put up any warning signs at all. While that might seem counterintuitive, it makes sense when one understands human psychology. If, say, 5,000 years from now, humans come across a sign that says, don't dig here, you can be sure that one of us will start digging, perhaps believing something valuable is hidden. So the current plan is to just leave the place alone, completely unmarked, once the tunnel at Onkolo is sealed. There aren't any valuable natural resources in Okoloto Island. So the hope is that future generations will have no real reason to dig nearly 500 meters below ground in this remote location. However, it is not just human intervention that one needs to worry about when talking about a 100,000 year time frame, but also geological ones. We know that the Earth's land masses are not stable entities and are constantly bumping into one another in a process called tectonic drift. However, this is exactly the reason why Olkiluoto Island was chosen as this place is relatively free of tectonic activity. The rock under this island was formed 1.2 billion years ago and has remained relatively stable ever since. Additionally, there is also the problem that Northern Europe is projected to be under several kilometers of ice at some point within the next 50,000 years as the planet enters its next ice age. The glaciers would exert unbelievable pressure on the bedrock for many millennia, which runs the risk of crushing the chambers that the canisters lie in. However, the engineers in charge of designing and constructing Onkelo are confident that these forces will not breach the tomb and that it will remain sealed for 100,000 years unless it is deliberately dug out. Maybe the optimists are right and that Onkelo will remain sealed until the death of our solar system in 5 billion years. But the reality is that no matter how hard we try, it is impossible to predict the future. For example, 50 years ago, while many people wrongly predicted the prevalence of flying cars in the near future, almost no one foresaw the birth of the internet. For humans to think they can predict what will happen in 100,000 years reeks of extreme hubris. The reality is that none of us watching this video will live to find out what eventually happens to Onkolo. Let's hope, for the sake of humanity, that future generations also never find out what is actually buried deep underneath Finland's Olkiluoto Island. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. And if you want to learn more about such unique places and concepts, subscribe to the channel. We will continue bringing you stories and ideas that blow your mind, as the truth, as they say, is stranger than fiction.